Well, hello, and welcome to another week of CCM Magazine Live. How's it going, everybody? My name is Marcus. And wait, the, today I've got something where I click, I'm Marcus. There you go. Say hi. Say where you're from. Uh, this is the show where we, the fans of Christian music, uh, get together. We talk to each other. We talk to people who make music. Uh, we have a good time. So if you like this show or you're not sure yet and you are just feeling kind of experimental, you can hit that share button. You can scroll down. You can find uh, some people's names that you want to invite and click them. You can also uh, tag them in the comments. So go ahead and do that. Look, share now. Now's a good time. Hello to everyone watching. This is awesome. Casey, what's up, man? Good to see you. Heidi, hello. I am watching your comments, so we'll be throwing them up on the screen uh, this whole time. Uh, and, and of course, when we talk with Joe, uh, it'll be great to, to have your questions uh, go to him. And a lot of people excited about this episode. We almost did it a little bit earlier, but you know what? It worked out super great because we had one of Joe's buddies, Nathan Sheridan, who is on his record label. We got a lot to talk about with that, but hey, let's just get right down to it. Mr. Joe Rojas. Joe Rojo in the what's, house. How's it going, man? What's up, Marcus? Marcus? It is, it is so good to see you. Every time I see you, I feel like your beard has leveled up. Like every time, like I feel like, uh, you know, and then I'm like thinking maybe, maybe it's time. Like, I, well, I don't know. I think it is time, Marcus. I think it is time. November. November will be the kickoff to that. You know, no shave, man. Well, then uh, we're call it Joe Vember. Joe, <laughs> Joe Vember. Now, I'm assuming a lot that people know exactly who we're talking to. If you don't know, immediately know the name Joseph Rojas. You do know the name Seventh Day Slumber. And uh, Seventh Day Slumber, of course, has been a rock band in Christian music for a long time. And uh, you guys are, but you're doing so much more than that now. Um, so I'm trying something new this week, Joe. And that is, uh, I want to start off these interviews with um, a random object. So maybe something around you, because every time I do these, we're, the people are in such interesting environments. See, I've just got a, a brick wall, nothing interesting there. But do you have something on that bookshelf there, something interesting you can share with us? Well, I have some, my studio is right across here, and I'm gonna ask my lovely wife, Lori, to grab this. Um, but this is something I got at a truck stop on the last tour, and uh, it's literally Ooh. in my studio, which is, Right over there. Yeah. And Lori, I think she's she's watching live, but <laughs> hey, hey, Lori, can you, uh, that, can you go grab something for me? It's a random object. <laughs> you oh, know she that. knows. It's not that random if, if she knows what it is. I got it. Because it is random. <laughs> it is random to buy at a oh, truck stop. And, I'm, uh, I'm excited. I'm grabbing it right now. And here it comes. <laughs> the anticipation is killing me it's gonna be amazing you're gonna love it that's awesome that's awesome all right wow oh man is that a gladiator helmet it is <laughs> wow and so you know what actually I think I saw one of those at a truck stop I'm not even kidding like there's this whole medieval section where were you uh, great question. Where maybe wasn't I? <laughs> maybe it's a thing. Like no, I, I've, see, look, I've been doing this a long time, 20 years on the road. <laughs> yeah. I have never seen a gladiator helmet at a truck stop for sale above, <laughs> above, uh, um, 18 wheeler TVs that you buy for your bathroom yeah. and your 18 wheeler. And yeah. they have like GPS machines. I mean, yeah, machines. That's yeah. <laughs> That's uh, anyway. I have like GPS. They have yeah. uh, all kinds of little gadgets for truckers for their trucks. And then, like above that shelf, were like six different types of gladiator helmets. That's amazing. And I'm like, why? Like what? Like awesome. And I said, I'm, I said, how much is this thing? The guy's like, you know, it's like sixty dollars. And I'm like, it's it's not a good buy. Yeah, but it has to happen. <laughs> And I bought it. It's in my studio. Oh, man. I, you wonder how many people bought it just for the sheer novelty of the fact that they have it there. Like, you know. I, bought it, I mean, you, I could have probably bought it on eBay for like 30 bucks. But, 
I but you don't have the story. Truck. Yeah, There's no story, man. I bought That's it right. at a truck stop, and somebody literally makes these at that particular truck stop in that <laughs> town, and they probably know the owner of the truck stop. And yeah, like he's like, yeah, sure, I'll let you sell your Gladiator helmets here. That's that was a fantastic way to kick off the random object random segment object, in this. I I so appreciate it. Let's see. Uh, Cheyenne says that's awesome. We have a ton of swords to match. Oh, there you go. My my bro had a Spartan sword rep from three hundred. Well, did you get it at a truck stop? That's, that's the, the question. question. That's so the question. so Joe, man, Seventh Day Slumber. We're gonna talk about all the other stuff you got going on, but give us give us an update on the band and how you guys are doing. <laughs> well, we just got off tour two days ago. Um, we were on the Summer Rock Fest tour. Um, quite possibly the most difficult tour in my 20 years of being on, on wow. the road. It was very difficult, man. It was, uh, I was sick the whole time we had, oh. um, you know, and I'm not, I'm not asking for sympathy or anything like that. I just know that there are probably viewers right now that were on that tour and they, they saw me struggle on stage every night. I'm, I, I really had a, had a respiratory infection. I had other things going on. Um, our bus had, so many problems and, and it doesn't really matter if you have the finances to fix it. Yeah. Uh, if no one can fix it. And right. that, because we had show after show after show after show and you, we do like six shows in a row, then get a day off then like six. So you never had time to fix the problem of the bus. So it was very difficult. We were uh, our generator blue, our bus went out. We had, we missed a couple of shows. It's a very difficult thing, but lives were changed. Um, we, worked with child fund that they, there were kids sponsored. Um, but you know, man, it was all the bands had a great time and we were out with, um, you know, kicking off the show was GFM. Um, then we had yes. amongst the giants, which man, they, those guys killed it every night. Zana, who by the yeah. way, just got her, her actual physical copy CD today. Um, pretty excited about that. Um, but Zana killed it. Random Hero killed it. Spoken Legends in the game. They killed it. And then we got up every night and I was like, man, I, these are, I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling well, but they would always be on the side of the stage cheering me on all the bands. And, but, but most importantly, lives got changed and yeah. that's the key, but it was very difficult um, on that tour. I'm home for, I got home two days ago <clears throat> and my throat is, you can still hear it sore, but I'm better now. I feel better. Um, and, uh, our bus is in the shop. And so, uh, two weeks home and then I'm going on one of the longest tours we've ever been on Oh a man, city, city worship tour in two weeks. Oh, all so, right. But we know how to pray right, already. It's all good because on that tour, uh, and I, and I'm, I'm believing God for a complete healing. I, I feel better today. I feel so good today compared, you know, compared to where I was, I'm just like, uh, I'm, I'm feeling better taking my medicine, whatever. But, yeah. um, but dude, on that tour, we're going to be writing the new seven day slumber record. It'll yeah. be 15 songs on that record. And what we wanted awesome. to do was we asked the, our, all of our fans, like, what do you want? Do you want a rock record or do you want a worship album? Cause people are number one selling album to date is take everything, which Man. is the worship album. Yeah. And, and so, but then Shattered Life is like second, you know, and then we yeah. have We Are the Broken that did really, really well. And so it's like, okay, what did the fans want? And a lot of said worship and a lot said rock. And, and so we're going to do five songs that are just rock and worship songs. Like give you an awesome five song worship, you know, experience. And yeah. then the other 10 songs will be like Shattered Life and Finally Awake and th that kind of thing. So. But we're going to do that on this tour, and we're bringing out recording equipment, everything. Really excited. Man, uh, I'm seeing a lot of comments. Thanks to those of you guys who are posting them. Um, I'm definitely checking them out, too. And lots of people, Joe, saying uh, that you're probably too hard on yourself, that everybody killed it, including you guys in, in wh whatever state you came in. Uh, oh, wow. That's, the people are saying they, they loved it. You know, man, you're talking about lives being changed. I mean, that's that's why the attack happens, right? I mean, is if if there's good stuff going, if there's, you know, people's lives being changed and Jesus yeah. being proclaimed, man, there's going to be, it's going to be some, some well, opposition. That's the element to it um, that we sometimes forget um, is, is like, you know, if you really believe in this thing, if you really believe in this thing, this, this whole Christian thing, you know, this Jesus thing, if you really believe in this, 
then you have to believe that there's an opposition. Yeah. And, and so, and if you don't really believe in this, then quit now. I would have quit a long time ago because this is hard. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sometimes it's hard. This tour, um, Marcus, honestly, I, I was just like, man, if it wasn't for those lives being changed every night, I'd take my wife and my kids and go home, dude. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? There were times oh, yeah. I just felt like that. You know what I mean? I didn't even care about the music at that point. Right. You know, it was like, I can make music at home. This is yeah. hard. And, yeah. you know, um, and I have 14 people in that bus that I'm looking out for. And then I have another, I mean, there's 36 people, I think 30 something people on that tour. My wife can tell you she's the tour manager. I don't know any people, <laughs> but it was, you know, a lot of people on tour that I'm responsible for, that we're responsible for. And it's a lot of pressure. And I'm like, man, this is tough. And, and then, and, you know, we're having all these issues and the bus is like, whatever. And, um, and so, but I'll tell you, like I said, the opposition, man, it, it, it's real. It's real, yeah. but God is greater. He's greater, right. man. And I know that. And those are the things yeah. that we got to recall to our minds whenever we have this attack from the enemy going, Joe, you're not going to make another show. Joe, you're, 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 you're too old for this. Joe, you're, you know, you've gained some weight now. You're not, you know, you, you won't be able to lose it. Joe, you, you got this infection in your your in respiratory, you know, and, and all these different things. And and then I have to say, you know, greater is he that is in me than he that's in the world. And I yeah. choose you, God. I choose you. I know you're real. And and I'm going to continue every single night. And uh, and I'm going to have and, and you're going to have your way through me. And I'm going to allow you to do whatever you want to do. Mm. And that's what I did on this I tour. And that's literally yeah. that is literally what got me back home to Nashville and yeah. through this uh, this tour. And now you're about and you're about to do it in two more weeks too. What, what's cool though is that you've got you've got a great community around you. Like in this on this last tour, you had you know a bunch of artists who are now uh, colleagues and friends on your label. Yeah, um, and, and that's also true of the next tour. But but before we get there, talk about this label that this label group actually you have Nashville label group. Yeah. Uh, you are, you are now a, a record executive, my friend. And yeah. uh, tell us, tell us how you got to this point. And um, yeah, just where, where this all came from. Well, um, seventh day slumber, you know, we have been on different labels um, and uh, mainly uh, BC um, tooth and nail for, we were on them the longest, but we were with Warner brothers at, one point and with word distribution and, yeah. um, and all, and all that. And, um, we've, you know, so we've, we've worked with a lot of labels and, um, and we've, and we've put out records that have, that have helped people and have changed lives and, and have, and have even made people money. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and, you know, Lori and I have been able to provide a home and, um, uh, take care of our kids as well, you know? Um, but at the end of the day, um, really ministry was always the, the focus and, and then, you know, finances just always happened to, to, to be there to be able to take care of our kids and things like that. Um, right. but, but there were times where I felt like we were being taken advantage of. Um, and I, and I, and I didn't feel, um, like it was such a Christian music industry anymore sure. at yeah. some point. And I, and I'm not going to go into all who did what and what it is because to me, that doesn't matter. Um, but what matters to me is the fact that there were other artists that were falling into the same trap that I, that I had fallen into and was able to get out of, yes. uh, you know, cause I smartened up after years of experience. I was like, Hey, hold on, man. That's not right. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, I, I'm, that's not right. You know what I mean? And, and so yeah. um, then I was like, you know, I want to be able to offer these artists an opportunity to, to be able to get their music out there the message of hope, the message of Christ, um, and, and to be able to get a fair deal, you know, um, nobody's out here getting rich, you know, but the, but to help them to be able to make a living, um, and, and pay their bills while they're out here working so hard, uh, to see lives change. And, um, and so I decided to start a label and I talked with Capital Music Group, which we've been with Capital for a long time. And a lot of people don't know this and it's such a, a tricky, like, industry it's hard to explain everything but bec tooth and nail was owned by emi right which, which had you know they they kind of it would they they were an owned label 
by yeah. EMI. So EMI got bought out by Capital, which is owned by Universal Music Group. And so right. years ago, we ended up moving the EMI. Dis our distribution was all through EMI. And so we knew all those folks, man. They were all so great to Seventh Day Slumber uh, at EMI. And, and so we, they got bought by Capital Universal. And then they kept a lot of the staff. So those staff turned into Capital staff members. And, uh, and so anyway, I approached them. And, um, and one of my guys that used to be the head of uh, sales ended up being the head of label partnerships. And I said, hey, look, I'm, I want to do a Seventh Day Slumber album on my own label. I've put in 20 years um, and I would like to bring on some other artists. And he's like, we're starting this amazing division. Um, and it's a, it's a big time digital distribution division. It's going to be the first of its kind, blah, blah. And we would love to have you as yeah. one of our first labels. And I was like, sweet. Yeah, boy. <laughs> I was like, I'm your guy. I was intimidated though. Cause this is capital sure. universal music group. A, and I'm like, oh, this big is a gorilla. ball game. But it's what I asked for. And uh, and God just began to open the doors. And before I knew it, um, I I needed a name. And Nashville Label Group, I could not believe, was not taken. I couldn't either. That's amazing. Is Like, this isn't Music City. There's Brentwood <laughs> Label Group, um, Sony Label Group. There's But there was no Nashville Label Spring Group. Spring Hill Music. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And I'm like, yeah. this is, I, I love this name. And then um, I wanted two imprints on that. One for Rock, which is Rock Fest, um, and which is already branded by the tour that we started five years ago. That's right. And, um, and then there's Burtonwood, which is um, just the neighborhood, uh, yeah. you know, that I live in. And so I don't care. I'll say it out loud. and watch a bunch of people come to my house tomorrow. But uh, anyway, um, so, yeah, we started Burtonwood as, uh, for our contemporary and our worship. Yeah. And, and it, it just worked out. And. New it's amazing. Christian um, said, hey, we'll do your physical distribution. We'll have you in all the physical stores. People don't know that, you know, it's not just all Spotify and Pandora and Google Play and Apple Music and iTunes, that people still literally go buy CDs in stores. It's true. And so New Day Christian, which distributes the Craze label reach and distributes Word now and, and uh, ev everybody, um, they, they signed on for a physical distribution deal with uh with my labels man that's amazing uh you've got some of your uh your label guys here you got joel burris is here burris uh yeah he's representing and, and josh is here is what's it? up dude josh honey honey yep josh honey's here so awesome uh so you've signed obviously uh i mean that's two different worlds and it's kind of two different worlds really that seventh day slumber has lived in sort of this you know worship softer world that you know is the mm -hmm. traditional christian airplay vibe you know uh ac stuff and then rock i mean you've got you've got both of these worlds how did you go about finding these artists that uh that that are on your labels well um with the rock fest you know we had rock fest uh tour and um there were i mean i want to say there there were probably four artists that i was looking at that hadn't been on the rock fest tour that I wanted the persuasive yep. was one of them. And, uh, I have this, I just had like beard hair in my mouth. <laughs> I, I would imagine that happens all day. <laughs> yeah. It's like, um, and that was yeah. alive. Yeah. Well, and that's, it's good. It's well, called transparency. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> but the persuaded, uh, which like I said, Josh, they were a band that I was thinking, okay, rock fest, but we, but I gotta be careful because it, it, we have to have only a certain amount of artists. But I thought, you know, but these are artists that hadn't been on the Rock Fest. Artists that I respect so much. I've seen them on, they're working hard. They're on their social media. They're doing some touring on their own. And I'm like, man, these guys haven't had the opportunity that bands like Disciple, Seventh Day Slumber, uh, even Spoken, that we've yeah. all had. And so I thought, man, maybe I'll do something with these artists to help give them a platform. If I can't pull them on the City Rock Fest tour right now, maybe I can put them on a label and, and, and kind of help brand their name and get them out more. Sure. So that's kind of how that started with uh, Random Hero. I've known him for a long time. Persuaded, I've known Josh since he was a little kid. You know, he still looks like a little kid. Um, yeah. but, <laughs> but, you know, uh, I've known him for a long time and um, since his demo demo stuff, you know. Man. And, um, 
and Susie, you know, we, Zana, we, she used to sing for another band and we had that other band on tour for, uh, um, um, like a two month long tour. And I was so like, the band was cool, but I was like, she really, you know, I'm not trying to put the band down or anything, I'm, but I'm not even mentioning the name, but she was a standout. Like I just yeah. saw her as like, this is an artist right here. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I, I knew I had to sign her. And, uh, and so I signed her to a management deal. Well, the band, I signed the whole band yeah. to a management deal and then it just didn't work out. And then later, uh, Susie was like, well, I'm not in the band anymore. I'm like, I found out and <laughs> I was like, you need to come over to rock fest. That's what's up. Yeah. That's awesome. So, you know, we have that. Then amongst the giants, my son Blaze uh, plays along with Marco and Brian in that band, uh, where it's Jeremy Holderfield, our guitar player, produced the band. So Jeremy yeah. producing that band, um, he gave me some of the the songs, and I was like, man, this is crazy. So that's kind of how that yeah. worked. With Burtonwood, Nathan, um, Jeremy produced Nathan, and Jeremy produced Brooke. And for those of you who don't know, he's talking about Nathan Sheridan, who was on the show two weeks ago. So yeah. we, we love that dude. Great, I went great back and, to know I went him. back and rewatched that. Um, cool. Because as you know, that night I was supposed to be on, and I was at this KOA truck stop <laughs> thing, and they were supposed <laughs> to have internet, and it was uh, But I'm yeah. glad that that happened because I went back and rewatched it when I had internet. Man, that was a great, that was a great interview. You guys, by the way, should scroll down after this and uh, and and rewatch that. Um, this was a really, really cool yes. interview. Yeah, he was great. He was great to talk to. Uh, awesome dude. So uh, there's a question here from Jennifer. It says, "What's the plan for rap?" Yo, yo. So you've yo, got yo, your yo, Burtonwood. Yo. You've got you've got Rock Fest, and you posted about rap. Yeah, I'm coming out. So with what's a rap the deal album. with rap? Yeah, <laughs> it's about time. Two chains. No, I don't know. I was stupid. <laughs> nice. Um, no. Uh, so I I do like rap. I do like hip hop, man. I'm uh, I, you know, I was listening to NF the other day, and um, it's it's like Social Club Misfits, NF. I was listening to Andy Minio the other day, and I'm like, man, this stuff is so good. Like, it's it really is good, and it was getting me hyped up for getting on stage. It's crazy because yeah. I can turn on, you know, I can turn on some heavy. Uh, I can crank up Zana, and and it'll get me hyped up, and I'm ready to rock amongst the giants. Crank them up, I'm ready to rock. But but then it was like I was sitting there, and I was like, man, I'm gonna click on one of these Christian rap playlists. And see what's up. Then all of a sudden, it's like you can't stop me. You know, it's Andy Minio, and I'm like, that's <laughs> yes. right, man. You can't stop me. I was getting hyped up, and I was like, you know, man, we have an outlet with Capital Universal, and 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 how amazing they are, and 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 what they do um, in 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 this music world. They're the largest distributor of music anywhere in the world. Yeah. And, um, and so I'm like, we have this opportunity with them and a great partnership with them. Uh, and they believe in what we're doing here at Nashville Label Group. I'm like, man, wouldn't it be cool if we could find an artist um, that hasn't had an opportunity yet as a hip hop artist and just branch out and, and you know, the message is the yeah. message, man. You know what I mean? If right. it's the message of Christ and they're serious about it and they're serious about seeing lives change, then I'm serious about helping you, even if it may not be something that's in my uh, on my playlist all the time on my phone. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Heck, I'd do a country. I'd sign a country artist if that country artist is on fire for some Jesus. That's right. You, hey, you've got the your label name, man. Nashville Label Group. What oh. is? I mean, you, the 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 potential is endless. So uh, I'm. I already told you. I'm putting in a plug for my boy Five, the rapper Five. Man, he's I got thought, a he's got a know, story, he's got a story like yours. We played with Five once. And, um, and Jeremy just sent me five, a link to five as well. So that's nice. two of y'all. All right. Our guitar player, Jeremy, just okay. sent me the five link and you did. So uh, you got Perfect. my word that Good. when we get off this slide feed, I'm going to go check out five. I don't, I, I, I awesome. remember, the, I remember the show that we played with five at, but I, I, I need to go check the music out. Oh yeah, uh, man. There was another dude. He's got a great story times. too. Yeah. Well, I definitely would check out his testimony. There's this other cat. And and he doesn't know I'm doing this right now, but there's this other cat I had a meeting with, man. Um, 
His name's Dylan Chase. And, um, dude, his testimony is powerful. Um, he's, 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 a uh, he's really good. So I talked to him. I've heard that name. Yeah. Check, check him out, man. It's Cause even if he doesn't yeah. sign to rock fest records or, uh, you know, if I, I don't even, I was thinking about naming another label, um, rap fest. <laughs> well, I thought about that and someone told me that was cheesy. I think it was Joel Burris maybe told me that I was <laughs> not good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but rap fest records was the original name. And uh, yeah. but then I thought, you know, what about like true breed records and, I don't know. It yeah, may just be nice. rock fest. Cool. It may just be rock fest. Yeah. I don't know, but sure. I am gonna release. I do want to release a hip hop part, a hip hop artist in 2019, and um, and man, that I just want to reach out as far as I can and do this. Yeah. You know, to see lives change, no matter what genre it. of music it is. I love it, and it sounds like you've got a great partnership going. It sounds like you've got a good, um, you know your artists are happy. You, you're not, you're not a traditional label in many, many senses. And, uh, and you're able to, uh, you know, to keep the main thing, the main thing. So as far as you are concerned, how do you stay fresh creatively? Like, how do you, how do you, uh, you know, keep inspired creatively to keep writing, to keep making music? Well, I would tell you this, that I've been more inspired lately than musically that I yeah. have in a long time. And it's because of all these artists. Yeah. Like signing all these artists and working with all these artists and seeing them play live is inspiring to me. And, uh, and also they, it gives me ideas and, and kind of, you know, it just, it's, it just makes me, you know, get my creative juices flowing and hearing yeah. some of the stuff that I've been hearing from them. Uh, even with the random hero guys, man, those guys are working with Kellen right now, who's the guitar player for Memphis Mayfire. He's producing their record. And some of the stuff I'm hearing from them right now is like, whoa. And I hear a seven day slumber song in there, not, you know, a rip off, but I'm hearing something that I could do along that line as well. So lately it's kind of been like all these artists and what they're doing, their different styles of music. And, and then obviously, you know, seven day slumber, when you hear us, you know, that's, Seven Day Slumber, even if it's a softer song, you know it's Seven Day Slumber. And so I want, uh, you know, I want to, I want to, I want to dig into, you know, what these guys are, and gals are doing, and have and and have them help me and inspire me and work with me to write some new stuff that isn't like reinventing the Seven Day Slumber wheel because I think there's bands that yeah. do that and it messes them up. Like their fans are like, "What are you doing, dude? Like that's that's not." what we're used to from you it's cool to branch out but sometimes you can like completely go off on another direction and uh and i don't want to do that but what i do want to do is um is utilize the people around me that are creative these young creatives that we're signing and have them come on board with seventh day slumber's new record and help in the writing process and i'm excited i really am excited about it man I love that. And uh, I, I also love that, you know, that it's not just the music that you're inspired by, but you're seeing, you're still seeing lives change on the road. What are, what are some things like that God's moving on your heart that you've been writing? Um, you know, in terms of, so I'm sure you're, you're songwriting, you're jotting things down all the time. Are there some things that are, that are coming out of you that, uh, that are, that are different or what's, what's coming out of you? Yeah. You know, there, there really are. Um, I think one of the biggest things right now um, that we've been seeing on the road so much is um, people not feeling like they have any value. And, you know, we've written about stuff like that before, but it just seems like lately um, as social media grows and as, as the bullying just gets worse and worse and worse, we're, yes. we're, we're seeing people that have um, that have just become numb and feel like, they're just kind of walking zombies. Like, yeah. they, and, and I'm talking about people that go to church on Wednesday and Sunday and, and those that don't. So um, I feel like we've be, we've become desensitized as people with all the crazy stuff that goes on on social media. And, and, and I'm not even talking about uh, the political stuff. I'm talking about in general, right. in life. And, and I'm, and I'm seeing this so much and I'm, 
seeing husbands that aren't sensitive to their wives and wives that aren't even mm-hmm. sensitive to their husbands anymore. Kids like bullying each other at these, you know, saying the craziest stuff, man. Oh and yeah. So and so it's affecting, it's affecting the youth. I see teenagers that it almost looks like you're looking into a hollow shell, but the mm-hmm. truth yeah. is, it's not a hollow shell. There's so much in you and so much there that you don't see, but I see it from the stage. So whoever's watching right now, you may not see it, but I see it from the stage. And when you look in the mirror, you may just see a hollow shell. But when I look at you from the stage, I'm seeing this beautiful person that God created and you just don't understand your value. And, and, and that's, uh, and that's the most important thing about you is that you were created by the very hands of God, that he knows every hair on your head, that he knows your hurt. He knows your pain. He knows your struggles. He knows your sin. He knows the very bad things you have done and he still loves you. And, 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 and he, he sees the beauty in you. And, and until you can see yourself the way that God sees you, you're always going to feel like a hollow shell. And I'm asking you, and I've said this many, many times on many, many different interviews, but it's so important to pray this simple prayer. Just God, let me see myself the way you see me. God, let me see myself the way you see me. I've had to pray that many, many times, even as a Christian yes. artist who's sold half a million albums. I've looked in the mirror and said, man, you're fat. You're, you're, you're not what you used to be, you know, da, 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 blah, blah, blah. And, and I had to stop and say, God, let me see myself the way you see me. God, let me see myself the way you see me. And, and Marcus, that's what this record um, that we're going to be working on. I don't even know the title of it. It was going to be called the takeover. um, But I don't know, man, I don't know what I'm going to name it now, but, it's like, I, I just want God to have his way, but I want people um, to hear this record and realize the value uh, that they have, the, the worth. And, and someone else may say they're yes. not worth anything, but God is looking at you as, as the most precious. Um, you know I mean? You, you're precious. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. I love that, um, that you can, you can deliver that, uh, the way you do uh, with rock, with uh, with this emotional, loud language, and um, and, and that that reaches people. That's awesome. What? Uh, so obviously you're headed back out. Uh, it's going to be a really different tour, not just the longest tour that you've ever done, but it's going to be really different in that it's completely worship focused. Yeah. Um, and uh, you're 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 healing up. A lot of people here in the comments saying they're they're going to be praying for your healing. They're believing for it. They're believing for great things on this tour. Um, how how can uh, how can everybody be praying for you besides just the uh, the physical stuff, which of course we will. Well, you know, honestly, safety on the road is, is so important. I mean, you know, there's there's we see accidents on the road. We see, and and I travel with my wife and my three kids, and you know, Jeremy travels with his family, and he'll have his family on this tour, and it's a uh, it you know we just praying for safety that, you know, that we would make it from point A to point B safely. Um, That that's really, you know, it's so important to us that our driver would be alert. I mean, our driver, he's a trooper, uh, but you know, it's, it's a, he, he just on this last run home from North Dakota, he got a, an infection, a really bad, I don't know if it was staff infection or whatever it was, but he got some infection and he had to drive, uh, home and we were like no just pull over if you need to and he's like no I feel okay and he and he made it home feeling okay and we watched him but when he got home when he, we got back to Spring Hill uh, or Nashville man he had to go to the emergency room and uh, and yeah. and so I'm saying praying for his name's Doc so you guys keep Doc in prayer because he's got to go back out in two weeks on this 50 city tour and Oof. uh you know, and but it's a tour I'm excited about. We've never done a worship tour. Uh, we've yeah. done worship songs, but we've right. never done a full just worship tour. And that's what this is. It's going to be all Seventh Day Summer worship. Uh, Nathan Sheridan will be on the tour. Very excited about uh, yes. about that. And then Brooke Robertson, she is ridiculous. She's amazing, and she's on. Yeah. The so it's going to be exciting. But be praying for that, the safety, and also for our driver. 
Yeah, for sure. And uh, somebody had asked if Brooke was on the label. And yes, she is. She is on Burtonwood Records. So, uh, and, um, by the way, Brooke has uh, her EP that she she released. It was only out for like three weeks. And then she signed with us. And so everything got pulled down and is now being released through Capital um, Burtonwood and, or Sweet. Burtonwood Capital. And so um, so anyway, um, but August 31st, you'll be able to uh, get her EP, Have My Heart. It'll be on Spotify. It'll be on Pandora. It'll be on iTunes. It'll be everywhere. But that's her EP. That's she's already done that. But um, but she's in the studio right now working on a on a new record, a ten song album. It, man, I'm, she's writing with some of the best writers here in Nashville. And you are. Awesome. She even wrote a song with Jenny Owens. I don't know if you know Jenny, but oh yeah, yeah. She's she's. Uh, you're gonna love this new record. But but we're just giving you a little piece. Uh, of her heart on the uh, Have My Heart EP, which will be out August 31st, but she'll be on this tour and just an amazing voice, yeah. has a heart for God and is, and is a role model for, for young girls, you know? And uh, yes. yeah. You scored some serious talent, not just talent though, uh, some some quality people. And that's that's pretty awesome. It's pretty great, pretty great group you've got around you. Now, somebody's asking here, Jennifer, saying, do you have... Uh, a breakdown of album and EP release dates, uh, Mr. Yes, Executive. Um, well, you have um, the protest, which just hit. Um, they're doing they're doing well. Uh, the protest, you can actually pick up their record right now. It's called Legacy, and uh, man, they're the featured artist on iHeartRadio, on all the M FM stations, and on Pandora. Pandora. Uh, but anyway, so the protest Legacy is out. Zana will be out on the fourth on the seventeenth. Um, of this month and you guys definitely want to pick up that record that record's called red for war and uh, yes. so it's 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 fire man that record yeah. is fire i uh, i've heard nothing but in uh incredible uh things about about zana's record it, um, it's, it's crazy man yeah. that and legacy both with the protests those are two of the best i mean i'm, I'm telling you like we have you're right when when you're like i mean these are quality people but these records are fire man so so we have the zana on the 17th nathan sheridan um actually his record comes out september 14th that yes. is that is an amazing worship record and it's got funk it's got work oh yeah he's telling us so there's there's it's all over the place i'm but excited the, but the content man they need you guys need to check out his epk like go to youtube and look up nathan sheridan epk his testimony of is is it's powerful in this the, yeah. the record, uh, you know, on September 14th when it comes out. It's called Broken with You, and uh, it is a powerful, right. powerful record. You can pre-order it right now, as a matter of fact, and get two free instant gratification tracks. The same thing with Zana. You can pre-order it and get two instant gratification tracks. That means you get two downloads instantly. Uh, Brooks EP, which is, um, uh, you know, which will be out, was already recorded and she released it, but it'll be uh, re-released. August 31st, but you want to be checking uh, for her uh, um, in 2019, early 2019. Um, then we have Amongst the Giants, which will be out early 2019. Uh, that record is called Obscene. And uh, it's That's pretty, awesome. That's a great name. It's pretty crazy because it's talking about like the things that you don't talk about, but you struggle with. And it's like, it's obscene to say that you're dealing with this addiction or that thing mm -hmm. or this and the record is, it's a metalcore album, but it is, it's, that's another one that's just, I'm so excited for that. The Persuaded will be out early 2019. We don't have a date yet, but they just got all their final mixes back. Uh, believe me, I've heard some of that music and it is, it's, it, the, I'm telling you, man, it's so sick. Um, we have um, Seventh Day Slumber, early 2019. You definitely want to pick that one up. Um, yes. That's how I got a bills to pay. So I need you guys to pick up that record. Um, That's right. Costing money releasing all these artists, Marcus. Um, Man. So, but no. So we we have uh, Seven Day Slumber early 2019, um, and we have After Grace, which is a uh, they're going to release an EP with us. Uh, it's an artist that uh, we just signed on um, Burtonwood. Uh, amazing. They're working with the band Consumed by Fire uh, to produce. Yeah. They're producing their record. Um, cool. I don't think I forgot anybody. I think that's everybody except for Random Hero, which Random Hero is working um, on uh, their new record, like I mentioned earlier, uh, with Kellen 
from Memphis May Fire. So, nice. um, yeah. Hey, Jake, Jake Jones uh, is watching right now from As hey. We Ascend. You, you're going you're gonna to pick up those guys? So um, there's a big announcement coming soon. Uh, oh, you're talking about with As We Ascend? Yeah. I'm working with Jake Jones on another project that I can't announce yet. Ooh, okay. Uh, hey, that's Jake's cool. He's actually doing all of the uh, – he's, he's uh, co-producing it and mixing it and everything. Sweet. And so uh, Jake is – him and I just talked the other day. As We Ascend, um, man, I'm trying to sign those guys. They're hard to deal with. <laughs> no, Jake, I, 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 Jake, Jake's one of those guys where – I just got to go and 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 um, make him an offer he can't refuse. Yeah, he's watching right now. So yeah, uh, Jake, don't, don't show your cards, Mr. Uh, record Exec. Well, let me just put it to you like <laughs> this. Jake, since you're watching right now, you're now signed to Rockfest Records, period. That's it. Yep, that's it. Yeah, not, there's no, <laughs> that's I'm how it works. for an answer. You're signed. Yeah, there, there it is. It's Now it's live. It's official. Now, it's, everybody, Everybody's seen it. it. Love those guys, man. I, you know, I'd love to have them on. I'd love to have them on Rockfest, and maybe that's a conversation, Jake. You and I can have, and I know we've talked. There you go, Jake. But uh, I'd love to have them on, man. They're great. Awesome, amazing, well, amazing. man. Well, you've 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 attracted a a pretty cool community. Well, um, everybody who's watching the the la I've seen a lot of the same last question before we pray you out here and let you go. You've been here. You've been great. You've, you're staying on longer with us, and all these people excited about it. Uh, the question is with the rock side of you of uh, seventh day slumber album with the rock side is it going to be heavy or is it, which side of of seventh day slumbers rock are so we if you uh, listen are we to the we are the broken album it'll be that like that intense um and it'll it'll be heavy um and then we'll probably have a couple of songs that'll be like missing pages or kind of a couple of mid-tempo songs but it'll be like kind of like the we are the broken album and shattered life style and finally right the heavier the heavier stuff uh because you know you're making a lot of people happy songs. yeah well we definitely we definitely are going to bring the rock on this one uh we know our rock fans are are are, are really excited and they want that and uh and we love to rock man you know and you know so we're gonna we're gonna make sure we have it um bring out some yeah burning bridges uh kind of style of music we got some stuff for you we're going to be fully loaded on this all one. right there it is guys now you know so much to be excited about and uh hey if you guys are watching now you're watching later it all works the same we're going to pray for this guy while he's here so let's do it everyone well lord man we just we are so grateful uh we're just grateful to watch this story of of your grace and goodness unfold in Joe's life, in Seventh Day Slumber, in a larger community. It's this ripple effect, Lord, and we're just so grateful for it. Um, we're thankful that um, that the incredible salvation story that uh, that Joe has was was just the beginning, and uh, and how we've all got to see you move in his life in so many different ways. So we thank you for this. Um, for these tours, for the, these, uh, this, the new label, for the artists that are all involved. Um, thank you for a common vision that's to glorify you and, and to be able to do it full time. And, uh, and Lord, we just, uh, we just pray your blessing over each of these artists, uh, each of the tours. And we pray health, Lord, uh, over Joe, over all the artists, um, over uh, Doc, the bus driver, and, um, and and safety on the road, God. And so we just uh, we pray for uh, for rest, for uh, re-energizing in this time before the next tour, and for more incredible testimonies um, ahead. So, Lord, we we give all the praise to you and all the results to you, and we pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, yeah, dude, man. I appreciate you having me on, man. It's yeah, it's so great to see you, bro. It is always good to see you. Uh, I, I I plan to look you up when I'm in Nashville uh, in in October, and we'll we'll chat. It'll be fun. Barbecue, man. My, um, be my wife is actually the one who barbecues. She's really really awesome. My I'm wife really too. Crazy. That's yeah, awesome. I'm horrible. I'll burn everything. In the place <laughs> but, uh, That's awesome. Lori, she Great. is amazing. I'd love to have you over for a barbecue, man. Be a blast. Uh, let me know when you're in town. Need a place yeah, to crash. Um, yeah, you know we got bunk beds upstairs. Perfect. That's awesome. I get the All right. bunk. 
<laughs> that's it'll just be like bus life, right? That's right, that's, that's it. Well, thanks to everybody watching. Uh, we love all your comments. Um, I'm gonna put a link uh, to the Nashville Label Group uh, down below and check that out, or you can just look it up. What NashvilleLabelGroup.com. That's it. Yeah, yeah. And, there's, there's not really a lot on that Facebook page, but it's more like Rockfest and Burtonwood. Those are there. The, you go. You, know, you can check out uh, Rockfest and Burtonwood. That's where all the updates are every day. You know, keep That's up it. With all the artists. Yeah. A lot to be keeping up with. So make sure you do that. And uh, hey, come back tomorrow, those of you who are here for the first time. We've uh, we've got a big week ahead. Uh, we've tomorrow we have. Wait, where did I even type it? I don't even. Oh, Johnny Johnny Diaz. He'll be here on uh, Centricity Artist. Johnny Diaz will be here same time. And then uh, we'll have Natasha Owens, uh, contemporary artist. Uh, who is uh, making some incredible strides and, and uh, inroads as an independent artist. So it's, it's pretty cool when, when that happens, we've, we've got heart for the indie artist and, and uh, we'll, we'll hope to see you then. So same time, 8 PM on the East coast, five on the West coast. And we'll see you later. Say bye, Joe. <laughs> Peace out guys. Bye everybody. Bye. Thanks again. And,